Welcome back to the channel. Let's go! Hello, welcome to another video on the channel. It's Ghost Trivix, aka Ghost. If you haven't subscribed, slap that subscribe button, bell notification so you don't miss the next video. Let's get right into it. This is after the rebalance, bringing out the Bogusari, the three-headed monster. And we are on Yaman Down. Of course, you want to control the center, but if you can get to one of the outside beacons and still have the center, it's going to force the enemy team to have to try and get that beacon back while still trying to get the center beacon. So we're moving in. We got the Kumo. We got the Hashi. Starting to go outside a little bit. So it looks like we're going to get the center first here. Oh, 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 oh. Shock Train Nation. Moving up. Looks like their team is a little bit slower to the entry or to the center. I'm just going to back up here. Oh, 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 RDB, baby. Watch myself. So this, this bogey is only level six in this. I think I finally got it to level seven, but I need to save up some more silver to go ahead and get it up to at least nine. I have about four robots I need to get to level nine, and then I'll work on a few of the new weapons I have. Take down there. So the Kumo, I think they're trying to get to the center beacon. I don't think my teammate is above me anymore. I'm not sure. Yeah, the Kumo is already in center. And yeah, they have the beacon. Oh, oh, oh. That RDB is like, yo, son. Oh, we got it. Oh, I'm getting hit by a Tempest, though, I think, right here. Or Avenger. One of the two, because they're ripping me to shreds. Ugh. All right, big boy in the, in the, in the building. So the return of the Treb Fury. That's what this video is really about. <laughs> so if you're new to my channel, you probably don't know this, but I rode the Treb Fury for a long, long time. I think I showed my hand too early because I believe it would have been it really messed us up. Now with the boosters, it's kind of iffy. I don't have the boosters engaged on this. I may start bringing them in. I have I have a bunch of them now. So here we go. Let's see if we can catch us somebody. Oh, who is this up top? Oh, is that a specter? Ooh, a specter. <laughs> that was a specter. No health whatsoever. So, <laughs> and I don't like to sit out in the open. I always like to move around. You probably like, why are you moving people? No, everybody's not paying attention. Some people don't know you're there. They see a light, they look up, and they don't see, like, they don't see the bot that fired. They might look at the general vicinity and just like, okay, who fired that? So I'm always kind of hiding behind stuff. I don't really sit out and open a lot. Now, on this map, I can do it a lot easier. King is a little bit harder because you are out and open a little bit more. But, you know, staying mobile is, is key. You always want to move around. Because you're going to get shots like that just by moving around. A lot of times, like I say, you're still moving. Sometimes people realize who you are, but it doesn't mean that everybody on the battlefield saw you. So you just get some ugh, some good shots. I really wish they would just go ahead and change the time frame of this. Because, you know, you have the shock train. The shock train basically is harder than this. And you it's a medium weapon. And it fires faster, which in a sense, it does make sense because you're going to be closer. But it has a range of 600, which on the battle, well, no, 500, right? I think it's 500 for the shot train. Scourge has 600. So for the range, you know, it just depends. But I just, I really like these these weapons. And I, I wanted to fire faster simply because you have a lot, you have faster bots in the game. But when they talk about balance, they're not talking about that type of balance. They're... They're looking for a type of balance that they can kind of control a little bit more where, you know, there's still there's still money and things tied to it. <laughs> didn't know it. Didn't know I was there. 
But there's this 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 window or something that's tied to it. So you got to be careful when you hear them talking about balancing. Unfortunately, some of the players that come in and tell you that, you know, you hear them like, hey, it's balanced. No, it's not. It's not. You play a couple of games, you realize that. Now, if you have all the MK2, then you're good, right? Because you... You're, you have you can de- you can basically deal with anybody that you're running up on as long as you have your MK2 up. Even if you don't, if you have all your bots maxed out, it's still going to make a difference. But if you don't, in this stage of the game, you're going to usually have to pay or really try and work on different ways to get it using pretty much every method possible. Uh, definitely doing a eh, contest not going to give you silver. You can get gold and you can buy silver, but... Right now, that's really what I'm running to is not having a lot of silver. I picked up the, I picked up the, ooh, is that a clean one? <laughs> that was a clean one, baby. That was a clean one. But <laughs> I picked up the premium to try and incre- increase my silver. And I always heard players say this for a long time about when you get up to higher tier, it costs a lot for, you know, repairs and all that. But I don't, I'm not really running to the repairs too much. But it's just you don't get enough silver. You really don't. You do get the little chests and all that. And I may start. I think what I'm going to start doing is doing the keys myself. Because I actually was doing better when I just basically let the keys pile up. And then let the system give me the rewards at the end of the month. That seemed to work out best. But I need more silver than gold now. Here we go. And I love that little angle. Because a lot of people don't realize you can get hit from that. <laughs> It's like, I'm, I'm clear, I don't see nobody, and then boom, you get hit. Like, okay, who did that? There's only two of us left. I could switch out, but in this case, it's usually kind of pointless. It's basically have their whole team. Now, I think I should have hit that, but obviously I didn't, right? Oh, hold on. Did they health drop? I don't know. I should rewind that. <laughs> I think that's a GI pattern. Yes, GI Pad man, you man, that's the one you don't see, man. Almost you really don't see GI Pads at all, really. So, but on this map, it makes sense because of the dis, you know, the, the the distance on the map. And I couldn't get under the bridge. I was trying to get back under the bridge, but unfortunately, you see the scourge just ripping me to shreds. So <laughs> now we're just gonna try and get in and get some shots in, man. It's too many bots to even fool with. I'm getting hit from both sides, so really it doesn't matter at this point. We're just cutting loose, man. Doing whatever we can do. About to get this one. Give me one more. <laughs> Not today, son. So anyway, you enjoyed this battle. Slap that like button. Want to see more videos like this? Subscribe. Bell notification so you don't miss the next video. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you enjoyed this video. And as always, choose like over death.